Factsverse presents Hidden Room of Thomas Jefferson's Mansion Solves 200-Year-Old Mystery Thomas Jefferson is known as a wise man who helped lay the foundation for the American democracy that we know today. He was the primary author of the Declaration of Independence, and he was also the third president of the United States. He was such an important man that there are memorials dedicated to him and his home in Virginia, which is a popular tourist destination. Over the years, the house has needed maintenance and construction work to keep it standing, and during one of those maintenance projects, workers came across a secret room nobody ever knew about. This hidden room of Thomas Jefferson's mansion has solved a 200-year-old mystery. Before we get into the details, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Thomas Jefferson's legacy is pretty incredible. Before he became president, he was one of the founding fathers. When he was president, he nearly doubled the size of the nation through the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. Before Jefferson moved to the White House in 1801, he lived at the Monticello Plantation in Charlottesville, Virginia. He inherited the 5,000 acres when his father passed, and with all of that land came a lot of work. In 1776, he built the Monticello Plantation, which translated to Little Mountain in Italian. On this 5,000 acres, he also built housing for slaves. Like most large plantation owners, he had hundreds of slaves, and according to rumors, one slave in particular caught his eye. It was those rumors that made the discovery of this secret room seem so scandalous. For years, this hidden room in the Monticello Plantation remained out of sight. During the 20th century, the mansion was converted to a museum, and during the construction, nobody found this mystery room. It also remained hidden when a modern bathroom was installed in 1941. The same bathroom was renovated during the 60s because of the high volume of tourists visiting the plantation, but still, the room remained hidden. The first clue that led to the discovery of this secret room came from Jefferson's grandson's diary. The historians wanted to determine the original layout of the mansion, and they came across a document written by one of his grandsons. In the document, they found Jefferson's grandson describing a room that didn't fit with the known layout of the plantation. The document stated that the room was located in the south wing of the former plantation house. Archaeologists weren't sure if the information was accurate at all since there had already been a restroom addition, and Jefferson's grandson was known for being a bit unreliable. They weren't sure if what they were reading was true, a joke, or what it was. In 2017, archaeologists conducted excavations as part of the restoration plans for the plantation, and they found something that supported the rumors that had been going on for centuries. While they were working to uncover the original layout of the South Wing, they found something that Jefferson's grandson mentioned in his diary. And what was shocking was that it was in an area that had been renovated many times before behind the bathroom. When they were knocking down the men's bathroom, they discovered a small room that had been sealed off for hundreds of years. It was 15 feet by 13 feet with a large brick oven in the middle. The room had no windows, which made historians wonder what the room was for and why it was so close to Jefferson's private room. And that started to make historians think about what a journalist from the Richmond newspaper wrote over 200 years ago. He wrote about Jefferson having a relationship with a woman after his wife died. The journalist, James T. Callender, was said to have written the article to smear Jefferson's name. To make things even more scandalous, Callender wrote that the woman that Jefferson had the relationship with was a slave girl who had been on the plantation since she was very young. Callender also said that Jefferson fathered children with the slave girl, but he didn't list himself as the father of her children on any records. By this point, the rumors were swirling, and many claimed that the children did look like Jefferson. Historians believe that Jefferson kept this mystery slave and their children in that hidden room. John Adams, the second president of the United States, wrote a letter to his sons in 1794. In the letters, he referred to Thomas Jefferson's relationship with a slave girl. He didn't come right out and say it, though. The references are veiled in Roman mythology so that nobody can know exactly for sure. The mystery woman is said to be a 16-year-old slave named Sally Hemings. She was the half-sister of Martha Washington, Jefferson's wife. Despite her relationship to the First Lady, Sally was dealt a different hand. She was half-white and half-black. 
and she was born to slavery. She was known for her beauty, and she worked in the house even after Jefferson's wife died. She worked for Thomas Jefferson until he died in 1826. Do you think this rumor is true? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.